If you guys haven't seen yesterday's video, it is on screen right now for you. So you can click on it and watch it before or after this video and whatever you want. I think this is Unusual Money Making Episode 4. So this comment, run around the Gnome Stronghold Slayer Cave picking up the loot. It would be so interesting to see how much you can make an hour. It was the most upvoted comment and I'm very happy that was because it was an awesome idea and I was really excited to do this. So as usual, I need you guys to comment money making methods below that are potentially unusual that you want me to try out for a video and the top rated comment is the one that I will do. So. Ellie Newgreen won this week's, and it is running around the strong, no more strong Slayer Cave, no hold, no stronghold Slayer Cave. Say that five times fast, wow! And picking out all the loot, and this looked like an awesome idea. So I wasn't really sure how to prepare for this. Like, like how do you prepare for picking up other people's Slayer loot? So I pretty much just wore a Slayer helm, so my stats didn't get reduced. Wore a DFS, so. I wouldn't get too burnt by the dragon fire and then graceful stamina potions and a slayer ring just so I could constantly run around and pick up all the drops. I guess this was like the best setup. You could probably argue for a better case, but I mean, come on, this is just so weird. So I decided to just follow a route once I got into the slayer cave. I basically entered, went towards the Bloodvelds, and then went south, checked out the Necreals and Abbey Demons, went back up north and then went all the way west in the cave, all the way over to the Black Demons and where like the steel and iron dragons are. And yeah, so the thing is, once you log into a world, you have to wait a couple minutes for the loot to appear. Uh, I don't know why, but that's just that's just the case. So if you are doing this and you log into a world, you don't see any drops, it's because you have to wait a little bit for the drops to appear. Now in this hour, I managed to do six total trips in the Slayer Cave, I believe it was six. And I basically just waited until I had a full inventory of stuff from the Slayer Cave. I didn't pick up all the drops, for example, I didn't pick up the Marantils, like stuff like Marantils, Guam, it's just this really cheap stuff that I didn't think it was worth picking up. I waited for something a bit more expensive to show up on the ground. I also didn't pick up the big bones. I feel like I should have, but and they, were, they weren't too expensive at the time, so I decided not to. But yeah, anyways, at the end of the day, I'm going to show you guys some more notable drops that I ended up picking up. You guys can see the stuff in my inventory that I do end up picking up, but the notable ones were, example, this Snapdragon Seed, which just randomly appeared. I was like, thank your stuff, bro. So the Snapdragon Seed appeared, a lot of herbs, which is nice. And then towards the end, I encountered this one guy who just wasn't picking up any of his his steel and iron dragon drops, or I think it was just iron dragon. The thing is, a lot of people aren't don't pick up their dragon bones. I don't know why. I always like bury my dragon bones when I'm doing slayer tasks, or at least collect them. A lot of people just leave them on the ground. So towards the end, I found a couple of worlds of people who were just leaving their loot from the iron and steel dragons, and I ended up making a lot off the dragon bones and all the other drops that the steel and iron dragons have. For example, just like. Addy bolts, uh, rune javelins, just these small things that people won't expect. Runite limbs, just these these stuff that people don't pick up for some reason. I mean, I pick them up, but apparently a lot of people don't. Or I got lucky with these two worlds. But I also ended up getting just a rune square shield, which just seeing that on the ground, I was like, wow, that's that's like a free 30k. Why why are you leaving this on the ground? So surprising stuff. I don't even know. I, I just maybe I just got a little bit lucky, but it was definitely cool to see. So the two, I guess, best areas that I found to loot other people's Slayer drops, I feel weird saying that, were the Steel and Iron Dragons, obviously, and then there was also the Spectres, the Aberrant Spectres, and they're mainly because they drop all of herbs. And while many people mainly pick up the, I'd say, Renar Weeds, the lower, the other weeds, for example, like Dwarf Weeds, Quorums, Aventos, those are actually worth like 2, 3k, so they're worth picking up. I mean, at least I found them worth picking up. So those two areas, I'd say, were the best ones for me. Surprisingly, like Abbey Demons, they didn't really have any good drops other than the whips. So not really worth camping there, I guess, for drops. So here are my inventories from the seven trips. My inventories like progressively got better when I started realizing where and what to loot. So that was pretty funny. But the first one made me 22k. The second one was 28k. The third one was 27k. Fourth one was 63,000. That was with the Snapdragon Seed. Fifth one was 47k. 50. 50k was the sixth one, and then last one was 66,000 GP. But yeah, so at the end of the day, here we have the final loot from six trips. So pretty decent so far. I I mean, I thought it was decent. Um, the dragon bones, I'm predicting I'm probably going to make 29 dragon bones is, is really decent, uh, especially for just looting other people's drops. So that was pretty cool. But let's go ahead and sell this on the Grand Exchange. And if we just fast forward through all of this, we can see that in an hour of collecting other people's Slayer drops, I managed to make a nice 263k off all the other, other people's drops, which is like, that's pretty good for an hour, don't you guys think? I mean, for really just running around, picking up drops, seeing what's on the ground, 263k isn't too bad. So thank you for everything, guys. I appreciate everybody who's doing Slayer that day. It definitely made me a nice little quick cash stack. So appreciate that. Anyways, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment your unusual money making method below that I can try out for the next video. Hope you guys have a good one and hope to see you next time. Have a good one and peace.